Hey everybody, how's it going again? Hope you guys are doing okay out there. Well, of course, you know what? A new project again. These are what's called snap pads. In the old Tim Rover, the landing jacks where you kind of level your, your rig, mine wasn't round. They were more like a rectangular shape, so I couldn't use any kind of snap pads or any kind of landing pads under it. So what I was doing, I was using these blocks here, these leveling blocks, put that to the side. I was using these leveling blocks right here and I would go under each tire or each landing pad to put these base on. So what I would do when I would get to a campground, I would use these here, this base here. Instead of putting this down every time I get to a campground or to a area that I want to camp, I got to put these under the vehicle. It could be muddy, whatever the case may be. So I'm trying to alleviate a few things once I'm on the road. When the landing pad comes down, I can take one of these snap pads here. It's pretty heavy, it's about 8.3 pounds each. And what happens when the landing gear comes down on the, on the gravel or whatever the case may be, now what it's going to do is going to sit inside of this snap pad right here. And the cool part about it, this is going to be a permanent mount because once I snap these on, and I'll show you guys that in a few, this is going to be forever and ever until it gets pried off. To get this here started, it should take between three to six minutes per the instructions to install. We're going to see how this is going to work. With this project here, it's going to need a few items. You're going to need your safety glasses. I have my safety glasses here, my clear ones. And I also have the, my dark ones if I need, depends on the sun. And you're going to need your gloves and some dishwashing soap. And then I have a little Dawn here. And I'll explain to you why I'm going to be using dishwashing soap on the snap pads. So let's get started with this project. I'm ready to go once again. It's pretty easy. It's going to be cool. Like I mentioned earlier, if I did mention that you should have two people. But if you got one person, the one man operation, so I'm going to try this way by you doing it myself. And I'll show you guys step by step on how to install these pads here. So without further ado, let's get going with this here. To get started, you want to make sure you have your gloves on. And if you got any kind of a watch or whatever that's metal, remove that as well. I think I'll be okay with these bands here. I got my tape measure. This here is a prime, that's what they call it, um, 10 inch snap pad for Tim Rover. And they have different sizes that you can buy. And I'll put a link below where you guys can check them out. You want to measure your jack pad. Mine is 10 inches. You want to measure three times, two times, one times, just at least four times. Make sure you have 10 inches or whatever case may be, or your landing pads rather before you order your snap pads. So to get started here, I have my dishwashing liquid, of course. I have some wood, make sure it's gonna be level. I can, if it's not gonna snap in, I can use that piece of wood to help it out a little bit. And of course, you're gonna do one landing pad at a time. I'm gonna add a little dishwashing detergent. I have my Dawn here. And from there, I'm gonna use my finger just to swirl it around in here because you want to have some kind of lubrication. Don't use any WD-40 or any kind of liquid, lubric, lubricants like that because that's not going to work because that's not going to help with this rubber. So once you get that nice and lubricated with the dishwashing detergent, there we go. That helps it out under the ring here. Perfect. All right, let's go to the next step. You wanna take your snap pad and you wanna take it and put it center as best way you can under this first landing pad. I'm gonna start in the back and I'll work my way to the front. Once I have this centered, best way I can because we're going to center a little bit more once we get the, the landing pads down. You want to make sure your emergency brake is set inside of the rig before you even do this process here. And also it's going to be a little noisy because you have to start the rig up 
in this case for me, I have to start Tim Rover up in order to use the hydraulic jack pad. So let's go and start Tim Rover, and we're going to put these pads down. We're going to get maybe about an inch or two from the, the top of the snap pad right here. And then I'm going to stop and come back out and check it again and make sure this is centered where this landing pad can zip right in here. And you're going to hear like a little snap once it goes in, and you'll hear that in a bit. So let me go ahead and get Tim Rover all revved up and show you guys how this is going to work. I'll hit the rear jack down. I'm going to go ahead and center this here. Best way I can. I think that should be perfect like that. Now I'm going to take this further down inside of this pad here, and if with any luck, we should hear a snap. Just checking to make sure those are nice. So this was a very hard project to do. It's fairly easy. One of the best projects I've done in a while that took no time whatsoever. I like it because when I'm out there on the road and I can put those back and what I can do and use those for something else, maybe I can use them under the jack pads. You never know. I'll just hold on to them just in case. But great project. I like it. It's been great. Do me a favor, give me a thumbs up if you like, the subscribe button below. I'll we'll bring you other tips, tricks, ideas, that path, innovations like that. Great innovation, I think I like it, to the channel. Until then, you guys take care of yourself, be, be good to yourself, and I'll see you next time on Tour Over. Take care, guys. Bye.